Hi, I'm Todd Albee here with Stove Tech and Operator Research, and I'm here with a customer today who cooks four course meals on our two door Stove Tech <coughs> stoves. So, this is Lydia Dean, and she's going to show you how she uses two door stove. And it's a beautiful day. It's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. So it's a great day to be eating outside. <laughs> Lydia? Thank you. Well, I guess I could start with the fire. I like to use up the scraps of wood in my garden. So I actually build my own little bundles of twigs tied with a little jute twine, stick a piece of paper in there, and then I have more wood here ready to go. If we use all that wood for this meal, I'm going to be very extravagant. My challenge to myself is always, can I do this with one match? So we'll see. So my one match did it. I found that if I move the little twigs too soon, it, that's when it can go out. So I'll start with the one and let it get going. This stool is the perfect height because I can watch the fire and also what I'm doing on top. And that to me is the, the most challenge and the most fun about using the stove tech is the little juggling act. I initially had told Todd that I was planning to do this all on the grill, which is one of my little thrift shop finds. But I discovered for our party it wasn't going to be big enough to do everything. So I'll start with the bread on this. I'm making chapatis and I already have them rolled out. It's just a very simple recipe using whole wheat flour, a little salt, a little oil, and uh, water. And you kind of knead it up and let them roll. And these are going to cook a couple of minutes on each side. The idea is to get them sort of bubbly and puffed up a little bit. They're not pita bread. They don't puff up like pita bread does. But uh, if the griddle is, if I've got it the right heat, then they should start cooking here. Okay, yeah, now they're starting to get a little brown on top there. As one gets done, then I can slide the, um, put the next one on the grill and uh, slide the one that's done over to one side. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm ready to go for the meat. And I'm going to cook the meat on this one. Looks to me like my fire is getting pretty hot here, but I think it'll be okay because that will steer the meat. I've been, I've been marinating the meat in a, um, some seasonings that friends brought me from Chicago, as well as some lemon uh, in here, and uh, some olive oil. Th this is pork loin, and so we're going to see what happens here. And I kind of move the things into the center and to the outside, depending on how fast they're cooking and what's not getting cooked. Now this is the point that if it wasn't cooking quite quickly enough, I could put a cover on it. And in fact, I might just go ahead and put that cover on anyway, because it's meat and I want to be sure it's getting done. Um, I could also add a little water if I wanted to and kind of steam it. I like the way it's cooking, but let me try it with just a little bit of water. You could use wine or beer as well. 
and then that will kind of steam cook it. It also makes it kind of a nice sauce with that bit of water added. Now I'm uh, using my thrift shop Wolfgang Puck pot here. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this. There is oil. The vegetables have been marinating in oil. These are all garden vegetables, except for the corn, which we went out and picked. Whoops. So we have corn, we have potatoes, we have zucchini, and um, what else is in here? Corn, potatoes, zucchini, onion, yes. I think that's it. Oh, and beets. I didn't want to marinate the beets with the rest of it because they make everything red, so. Now I'm uh, putting the meat on the top to kind of reheat while the vegetables finish cooking. Because we're having dessert today too, I'm going to be wiping off my griddle here because I'm going to put dessert on this griddle to cook while we are having our meal. So I'm just going to wipe it off with one of my little rags here. I have apples from my tree that have been marinating in fresh lemon juice. And I have brown sugar, which I'm going to sprinkle over them. And a little cinnamon and sugar. What I think I'm going to do with these, rather than use that lid, I think I'm just going to put aluminum foil over the top. Just like that. Put my little flat lid to hold it in place. Now I'm not adding any more wood, so I'm just going to let what wood is there finish up. It will finish cooking the vegetables and the meat, and then the residual heat will cook the apples and uh, be dessert. All right, now here's the dessert. I sort of wiped that griddle off and put some aluminum foil on it. Put my, my apples are underneath there with the brown sugar and the lemon juice. And we'll just put that on and we We'll eat and let that do its thing. So, bon appetit.